Hey guys, Stealth here. Today we're going to have some fun with zombies. In the red corner, we have the zombie deck, of course. This is consisting of a Red Dragon's mechanized deck. It is pre-1980, but that doesn't really matter. I don't really need all those activation points. Anyway, they have 201 units of infantry, 83 units of support, including mortars, which means I cannot just defend my line like I normally do. 145 tanks, 28 reconnaissance units, and 143 vehicles, consisting of recoilless rifle jeeps, um, some tank destroyers, some AA guns, and HGM transports as well. So, I got a lot of work to do. Now, what would be safer than to use a tank in a situation like this? So, my zombie defense deck is this time Eurocore armored. Consisting of three command tanks, of course, you have to time take this, let's say, by times five, because I'm up against five AIs. Command tanks, Mankati 6x6 transports, uh, Puma 330Ls, two FOBs, which is probably going to be translated into about ten FOBs. One card of infantry in Mortar 2s. Supports, nothing. Tanks, Leopard 2A5, Leclerc, and the Kyler. I decided to go with the Kyler to make sure I have an auto cannon, which can also hammer the infantry. And I don't only have to rely on the auto cannon that's mounted on the Martyr 2. One reconnaissance unit in the form of the AMX 1390, and one vehicle, the Kanon and Jagdpanzer. This thing I picked mostly for its rate of fire. It's going to be really helpful at suppressing enemy infantry. Rest of the tabs are clear. I have no helicopters and no aircraft. So normally where I just as bomb the targets, I cannot do that this time around. So, map, punch bowl. Points, 1500, probably times 4, maybe times 5 even. Starting points, uh, 1500 as mentioned. Victory points, total destruction. They have a lot of zones they can capture. Uh, me, not so much, because I have to decide either to go for this zone or down there in the middle. Neither of which are very safe and I wouldn't be surprised if this time around I may not have enough points to win this battle but we'll just see about that first off I'm gonna deploy a few fobs which will cut into my points but so be it I need these tanks to keep firing and I need to keep them fixed up let's deploy a few AMX 1390s as spotters now these guys have decent optics. Um, it, they have good optics, but nothing much more than that. I'm going to send over one command tank over towards Delta, with a little bit of an escort, consisting of a few Kylers. And you can see I have 60 Kylers, 15 Leclercs, and 10 uh, 2A5s. I really doubt anything is going to go through the 2A5, but if there's enough infantry around it, they're surely going to kill it. Let's give him a 1390 recon and a few Kanon and Jagdpanzers, which I have 80 of. Alright, so that's my secondary force. My main force is going to be consisting of Leclercs, just because I think they are really, really nice tanks. I'm going to go with a Kyler on each flank and one Leclerc. It's not a lot. This means I'm going to have to reinforce these positions that I have as soon as possible. I can buy one Martyr. Um, let's give them a few Kanonen. There. That's what I'm going to go with. And now we wait. And now we fight. I have one pretty glaring weakness in this situation, which is this large forest. If the infantry from the enemy team starts to push through the forest, it's going to be really damn difficult for me to defend against that. Because in no time they're going to be inside these buildings. And considering they have 200 units of infantry per deck, that means I'm facing more than a thousand units of infantry. Which will make it rather hard to spot these guys in time. Alright, my income is decent, plus three currently. I really need to get this zone to get that up to plus seven. Let's speed this up and wait for the guys to arrive. Now the Leclercs are really nice tanks, really accurate. Decent armor penetration on them, good armor for this situation. High rate of fire, they're going to run out of shells in less than two minutes. And that means that I will probably have to resupply them a lot. It's something that I have to just contend with. Deploy a few of these fire support units. 
Get the Amex down there. Uh, Kyler here. Another Kyler there. Here we go. Here we go. They're coming in. Kyler, Leclerc, and Kanonen moving up. Facing a few T-62 Deltas. As you can see, they're just hidden beside the, the tree line here. And we're already lighting up the first targets. PGZ-80s. Rate of fire on these things is also really high. 12 rounds a minute. At least they carry 40 rounds, so that makes it a bit easier. Tanks are already taking quite a bit of fire. I'm too far ahead, apparently. Give me another clerk up here. The clerk, 98% accuracy on the move. Just look at that. That is why I adore these tanks. Now, the enemy does have reconnaissance, but they don't seem to be fielding a lot of it yet. Here's the other wave. 12 tanks and a bunch of transports, but of course that's just the first wave. And this is what I was worried about. Them putting infantry through the forest. If they are indeed going to get away with that, that is going to be rather problematic. So let's bring in a martyr, at least capture this building. And from there on out, I can at least use the martyr's gun to then work on infantry as it may come out of this forest here. T-62 Deltas have 10-frontal um, armor, which is more than I can put out with my Kanonen. They only have 8 armor penetration. The best weapons I have over here... Oh Jesus, that Kyler took a massive beating. Main weapons that I have over here is currently only the Clerk, times 2 now. But look at the numbers that he's facing. This might be a bit much, even for two Leclercs. I think that I'm going to have to field a few more of those... Uh-oh. Those Kanon and Jagdpanzers, which are now taking a beating. This Leclerc is going to run out of weaponry in about two to three minutes. So let's create a bit of a fallback here. First Kanonen went down. Offload. Sent the Martyr over to the other flank. We need a few more Kylers over here. Jesus. Back it up, back it up. We're going to start handing down ammunition directly from these fobs. I just lost my optics. At least one of them. The other one's behind the buildings. This one's almost out of ammo. Come on. Pull back to the fob. Mortar 2 starts to take fire from the tanks there. <coughs> this seems to be the main push. Close target. Kill. Hold, Leclerc. Rearm. Do it now. Those Mortar 2s have an amazing amount of frontal armor, but in this situation, it's just not enough. Come on, Kylers. Save the day, gentlemen. And don't allow these bastards to get close. Leclerc is being rearmed, firing again. You can see they're trying to fire at everything, including my resupply vehicles. Here comes the mortar fire. That means we're going to have to start to push out at some point. Hold! Jesus. <laughs> that was a bit too far. Lost a Kyler. I think it might be time to start fielding a 2A5. But I just don't have the points to do that. So we're dealing with somewhere along the lines of 20... Probably up to 30 tanks. The clerk is taking fire. But so far it seems to be doing okay. My fob, not so much though. My fob is taking too much damage. If this thing goes down, I'm going to lose 14,000 points of units, or 14,000 points of supplies. It's a bit high. Let's start pushing them back. I've decided to forego the 2A5. I'm going to go with a bunch of Kanon and Jagdpanzers in order to just get so much guns out there that they're going to have, let's say, a wall of fire coming at them. Optical failure on the shit. This tank is out of action for two minutes. A situation like this, that's 
quite a long time. Alright guys, switch over to this flank. The situation here is getting a bit more desperate. Leclerc, pull back. Oh, this fob is not doing well. Reinforcements. <clears throat> Slightly outdated, 1965 built. Still got a heat round on them. Go for it. They look like a recoil at these things as they fire. They just buck all the way back. Those mortars, though. Infantry coming in. Shit, Leclerc is out of ammo. And they are going for my Kanonen right now, which don't have anywhere near the armor to sustain such a bombardment. Stabilization malfunction. Lots of hit points lost. Pullback. If they keep rushing me like this, I'm never going to last 30 minutes. Did I bring the wrong vehicles? Maybe. At least they decided not to offload their infantry here. Which is, uh... Pretty damn useful. Great. Stun the clerk here. That thing's never gonna take off fuel and ammo like that. Optical failure for another 10 seconds. He's not resupplying either. Lost a Kyler, lost a Kanonen again. A clerk, come on. Look at the amount of tanks here. Firing at a range of a thousand meters, which means at this range, they're actually rather likely to start penetrating the armor of Leclerc. New Leclerc joining the ranks. Plenty of targets for them. They just finished burning down one of my fobs. The next one taking a lot of damage. Oh, wonderful! That is not what I need right now. since losing my optics again there's no way I'm spotting targets here not fast enough anyway bloody hell that Leclerc took a massive amount of damage whoa I just lost the entire Delta sector and everything in it that's different Clerk, get resupplied. Now would really be a good time to take on ammo, considering the amount of forces that we have coming at us. Oh dear. Come on. Damn it, lost to the clerk. Okay, at this point we're gonna have to start attacking. Just to clear up some of this rubble. Try to get those mortars out of the way. Shouldn't be firing from there, there, and there. Great, Morian's taking fire. Push back. Go for the vehicles first. Kyler's, you can engage the infantry. Same for the 1390. This one's still being fixed up. This one's good to go. This Leclerc does not take on any fuel yet. Actually, not feels the issue. Ammo. Great. Guys, we're an armored deck. We're gonna keep moving. You have plenty of gun stabilization to work with. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, great. The next wave's coming in. This Leclerc took a lot of damage, though. He's down! Pushing out too far. Lost another Leclerc. Oh god. Means I got only one Leclerc left. My left flank is absolutely empty. Barring 11390, who only has one round of ammo left. T62D's coming in. Take these out quick before they flank these Kylers. Because that's exactly what they're about to do. 
Now, much as I like the Leclerc, they are a big investment, and I think that the Kylers right now are good enough. So I'm not going to go with very expensive tanks. I'm just going to keep these things moving. Because the artillery bombardment is pretty relentless here. There, 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 and there. <laughs> Jesus. Um, and we got infantry coming in. Kyler, other flank, right now. Defend this area. Look at that, a panic clerk has more accuracy than some of the base accuracy of other vehicles. 1390 is starting to run out of ammo. Pentagrams, you're going to have to start killing off those mortars. Lost the 1390. So what's firing into my flanks all the time? Old clerk, that's a bit far. Lost the 1390. This still being repaired. This one's good to go. please. Oh shit, we got another wave coming in left flank. Kyler, there. The rest of you, keep moving. Because this is not getting us anywhere. Except dead and buried. Under a hail of gunfire. Oh god, keep moving. The good thing is that these are just vehicles and a bit of infantry, so my Kanona might be able to help out on that flank. But don't push out alone. If you push out alone, you're going to die alone. Uh-oh. The mortars may know that I'm coming for them. No, in all honesty, they're just trying to attack whatever they can find. Which just happens to be my vehicles again. My infantry, of course. So I got two fobs left with about 22, 23,000 points of supplies between the two of them. Don't do that. Come on. Some of these vehicles are really fired off everything they can fire. Auto cannon ammunition, main gun ammo. Than now having the Leclerc again, which I gotta say is a really effective way to deal with those things. It's pretty damn clever. Alright, that flank should be okay by now. Alright, move back slightly. Artillery barrage is already on the way. Take on as many rounds of ammo as you can and start pushing back again. The mortar took a bit of stun damage there. Move, move, move. Okay. You better kill that thing. What do we have here? Transport. Move, move, move. There's no stopping here. Not with that amount of artillery coming in. Look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? Got your Kylers moving up. The clerk pushing through. Oh, 33 Bongongsers in that building. Alright. I'm just going to pull this wave back, move in reverse, and get out of here. Jesus. And I thought artillery spam in a 10v10 was bad. Try a 1v5. Holy hell, those guys are going down quick. Alright, survive for 23 minutes. This fob, though, that is draining quick. Move. And I have to do something about all of those artillery units. 
Not only that, but they seem to be spotting everything I have. Gotta take out their spotters. Take out their spotters and you neutralize their artillery at least a little bit. Hold. The clerk is pretty much down for the count. The rest of these vehicles are doing pretty good. the mortars. At least now we know where they are. The 1390 is going to go down. If the 1390 goes down, I lose all optics. Which would not be a good thing. Great, I just lost the 1390. Pull back. Lost another gun on Jagdpanzer. Let's put some more infantry in the building here. Another Kyler. The clerk is still being fixed up. Pull back, guys. It's a big investment. This is uh, six tanks. That's 400 points I have rolling there. Offload when ready. Alright, let's get these things... Oh dear. I was gonna say let's get these things fixed up, but I think I may need to push them directly to the other flank. Look at the artillery coming in. They just spotted the Kanoniak Panzer and they went, nope. You are marked for death. Hold. switch their offensive. It's not a bad idea. Because my tanks don't have a lot of line of fire from where they are currently. Lost the 1390. They're gonna be coming in very, very close here. Better not let that thing shoot you in the sides. <coughs> Look at the amount of corpses here. Lots and lots of wrecks. Don't get close to the infantry. Without income, I'm not going to do much. easier to see how much ammo they got left. It is also putting them quite close together, which is a tad risky. Just gonna have to work with it. Even my command tank is firing now. If they find that thing and they decide to go for it, it's gonna be a bit of a problem because that's gonna end the game. They're now even smoking the position here. Uh oh. Not too close. There's a lot of infantry in those buildings. This is actually getting rather tight. Switch your fire. Wipe out those infantry groups. Spot of that flank. Lots of infantry coming in. 
Actually, that's mortars. Yes, yeah, send your mortars to me. Saves me from having to go to the end to them. Kill them. And that's the second fob down, which means I have 29 Mekatis and 40 helos left to resupply everything I got. Right. may not be a good idea, not right now. Hold. What are they firing at? Oh, my fire support vehicles. Okay. There's another mortar coming in. The auto cannon fires really high with these vehicles, and they carry 2,400 rounds, but they are chewing through those pretty quick. Ah, see, this is the problem. They carry 600 rounds. The rate of fire means they're going to be empty inside a minute. My clerk is now out of ammo. I think the majority of my investment is now going to go into resupply, considering my fobs are dead. Or dead for the sake of resupplies. Counties are going to be drained right quick. Look at that. These things are spitting out their ammo faster than I can resupply them. Next up. Move, move, move. Resupply. Infantry at the gates. Mikati is, well, empty enough. Those things blow up, though. That would not be a good thing. Get out of here. The Cutters have lost most of their altercade on fire. Go for the large infantry groups here. Yep, all autocannons are now offline. Come on. I think the mortars might be empty. Okay, maybe not. Resupply. Auto cannons are firing again. For how long? Yep, my car the empty. Next up. Auto cannons are back online for a while. We got infantry inside the buildings. I just blew up my Cotty. Not sure how much fuel that thing had left. Great tanks. They're only T-3485s, but there is a lot of them. Look at that. Just a roadblock. Another Mankati down. They're destroying these Mankatis almost faster than I can empty them. Shit, one of my Kyler's is about to go down. I'm surprised that Martyr is still alive. That's good enough. Come on. More Mankatis. So that's 6,800 supplies, which they chewed through rather quickly. This one's empty. Next one, and that one's empty. Heavy offensive left flank. It would be terrible if they would engage the same flank there now. Try to come into the rear of all of these tanks. Empty. The vehicles are now starting to really run out of fuel and ammo. Correction, not fuel, only ammo and hit points. Look 
of these Kylers. 50 rounds left, 60. Of course, the mortars are coming in again. Empty. Next. left, but resupplying and repairing. Yeah, the repair on uh, Jenny's tank. That is getting a bit desperate. I should have gotten something with a bigger gun. The L44 is nice, but it's only 152 millimeter. It means HE is only 3. 4 HE would have definitely made a difference here. Up, oh, next one done. Two is now dead. We're getting rather close. And not only that, but they're also starting to fire ATGMs again, or um, RPGs again. And of course, my recon is belly up. VTTs, a whole bunch of infantry again. Mikati down. Thirty rounds and seventy-six rounds. I have to start rationing my ammo. Stop ammo only. That's the best I can do for you guys right now. Those auto cannons are really hungry as far as supplies goes. By the way. Ah, oh, another one empty. That's by now. Uh, well, a little over 14,000 supplies that I went through. Total ammo, 40, 50. Now I'm going to turn off one of these tank groups. Make sure they don't all fire at the, the same target and waste ammo and fuel. Send in a helo. Great. Pick it up. It's a bit weird turning off your main tank gun when you have this many forces coming in, but there's a method to the madness. 1390 still killing stuff. What the hell? AA guns. They're killing off my resupply. Great. I'm, uh... I'm going to be reduced to ground-based resupply. These things are now almost entirely empty. Which means I can start to think of resupplying the other ones. Turning them back on. Five rounds left. Four. Three. One round of autocannon ammo, but apparently they don't fire that. Not when that's just one round left. Two rounds, empty. Alright, you're back on. Go for it. Move. Mikati's empty. Just getting enough points to buy a new Mikati every time. 50 rounds. Great, there's the... Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not what I need right now. Oh, God. This is it, guys. This is the final offensive. Yeah, if you could just resupply, that would be wonderful. There you go. Uh-oh. Come on, give him ammo. There. They're almost in my base. 40 rounds. Alright, that was another 3,400 supplies. That got me... Qu oh, Jesus. Get out of here. I think this is it. 
I got nowhere to fall back to, and the moment that this Leopard 2 starts to take fire, I'm through with resupplies as well. Back it up. Uh, you know you're getting desperate by the time your main command tank starts opening up. Forty rounds. Lost to Kyler. Leclerc is down to its browning. Fifty-seven supplies. Come on. My Leopard 2 tank is actually the front liner right now. Oh god, it's starting to take all okay, it's starting to take mortar fire. Come on. Resupply these Kylers. Ammo only. Jeez, they're out of main gun. They're out of everything. Come on. I refuse to go down. Makati down. Leopard, get out of here. Now. These things still have some rounds left. Yep, just head up all the way. Don't care. Move. Move, move, move. And the worst part of it is, I'm now stuck in a forest fight with tanks. <sighs> Ammo only. I've got to keep those guns going. Come on. Come on. Great, they're out of ammo. Retreat back into the woods. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes. That's all we need. Nice amount of explosions there. These carters have 55 rounds left. If I can push back in here, I can at least try to get my income going. Empty. Got him. Alright, my Leclerc has 18 rounds. Gotta make it count. Come on. Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Get back into that zone. The next problem I'm facing right now is that if I get this zone back under control in the next four minutes, there's going to be infantry and vehicles all over my resupply lines. I'm not sure which one is worse. Leopard 2, you can take a beating. Just get behind the building somewhere and uh, shit. Yep, that's it. So, defeated by the zombies after doing 13,000 points of damage and taking 3,200 losses. Let's look at the kill list. Leclerc, Mr. Nouveau, tank after tank after tank. Transports, arty, infantry, and this just keeps going on and on and on. Anyway, I think that's the first time I got defeated by one of the zombie decks. Um, I think I need to get more fire support units, or not go with Leclerc's, because while they are great units, they are also rather expensive. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on that. Um, looking forward to doing the next one, probably going to be up next week. If you have any great recipes for that, so let's say a zombie deck and a defense deck, or suggestions on that, you don't have to build the deck yourself, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments, and I'll look forward to playing the next one. For now, thank you for watching, and see you next video.